so I ordered an ultra custom Ponage mouse and it took about four weeks to get here just got here today and I'm gonna be unboxing it and giving my first impressions on it so I a little backstory I ended up emailing them because I was going to cancel my order because I was looking at a lot of reviews for this mouse and I don't know I was looking for something smaller for my hand size but the reason I wanted to get this was just to try out the ergonomic shape so I was like after waiting a while I emailed them and I said you know I wanted to cancel my order and they were really kind enough to say you know is there a reason is it because of the delay and it was partially because of that it's not like the main factor but it was I was kind of contemplating that maybe I should you know save my money and buy something else because I don't even know if I'm going to even enjoy this mouse. And they ended up providing an extra shelf or case that you kind of change on the mouse. And this is the pink version that I got, the light pink. So they have different like mini color options. As you can tell, the ultra custom, you can customize the shelves to be honeycomb or to be like just a complete um, smooth surface. Or you could just change this or the DPI button and stuff like that. But they have these colors and you can also paint your own if you you have a 3D printer. Or you can, if you know how to paint, you can paint over these as well. But, you know, they have orange, yellow, green, neon, pink, red, purple, blue. I want to say that's light blue or cyan and, you know, light pink, the one that I got. Because it looked pretty good on the pictures. I don't know if it's going to look here. But yeah, they provided this at no extra cost. So, you know, they're pretty, pretty nice in my book, right? We'll open that up after I open up the main box. But yeah, this is what the box looks like. I love the aesthetics of it. So I do need a box opener, like some kind of knife or something. I'm going to use scissors and hopefully I don't mess up my boxes. Usually when I tend to open packages, I damage them. But yeah, the side, there's nothing really impressive, you know, just this nice sleek black box. I don't know if they provide this for every mouse that they ship. Because I got the white version. I didn't get the black. So I'm going to be very upset if it's black. Because I ended up getting the white version. I have too many black mouse mice. So I really wanted a different color. But hey, I can change the shelf with the one that they gave me. Maybe other boxes are like this. So we're going to see. I'm just going to be giving my first impressions, basically. So I kind of took out the tape that was holding it. I don't want to, like, damage the box. I have to probably edit that out but yeah let's see what we get in here okay so i do have the white version nice so yeah it's standard box i'm gonna keep the box just in case something happens right like you always want to keep your boxes a lot of people keep their boxes forever if they, in case they resell them but i don't like having a big mess like that. i don't have plenty of space but yeah so i'm guessing this is the extra shelf that the shell that you get i heard that if you get the white version you get an extra black or if you get the black version, you get an extra white. So on top of not only them providing this pink one, they also provided, you know, the next one, which everyone gets. So the cable looks pretty nice. Not that I'm going to use it very frequently. It's only going to be to charge the the mouse. And that's about that's about it. Right. Like, I'm not going to play with it on or whatever. I don't like cables anymore. Love being like completely wireless, basically. So, yeah, I mean just a cable and nothing you know unique about it looks pretty nice matches the mouse i don't know if they're all white or if the black one comes with the black one but yeah it matches the mouse that i have and then they just give you i'm assuming which is the receiver yeah i guess the receiver i don't know oh this is the dpi buttons right here i guess the one that goes on top of the mouse a black one and a white one so yeah they provide different sizes i guess so that's pretty nice okay so let's open up the mouse see if it feels any lighter compared to like the razor viper that i have but yeah okay so i really already love the shape the way it looks let me see if i can focus it so i'm already digging the shape i mean the look of it at least like that little curve don't know how it feels in my hand yet i'll grip it in a minute but it looks nice these clicks definitely feel better than the razor viper still my favorites are always going to be the g pro 
I mean the G703 ones. So these are probably always going to be my favorite. But yeah, these feel pretty nice. Ooh. Okay, that feels nice. So palm grip feels pretty. Actually, it almost fits my hand perfectly. For being, it looks way bigger than the Ultralight Cape Town 2. But, I don't know, it feels... I have to use it more, right? This is not going to be a review or anything. have to use it for a little bit, but just right off the bat, they almost feel the same. It almost feels the same as the G703, except the hump feels like it's in a different spot. And it feels more like it's leaning to one side than the G703. It definitely covers my hand more. This one covers my hand more. I'm able to grip it more. Then I'm able to grip this one. I don't know if it's because of where the bump is. Or if the bump is actually bigger. I can't really tell. But this one, the final mass is definitely sticking out more to the right. I mean to the left. And it's kind of slanting. This one seems to be, it just ha seems to just have a, a bump. But it goes like back. And then it's raised a little bit in the back. So I don't know. I feel like this one feels more comfortable. But playing on it for an extended period of time is going to be the best way for me to tell if it actually is it's definitely lighter that's for sure this one's pretty heavy as you may know the original g703 is pretty heavy this is honestly this i don't know what it is it doesn't feel that much of a difference like when it comes to weight from the razor viper this one's like 74 grams and i think this is 69 and if you put the hard surface one it's probably i think 70 it's still lighter than the razor so i'm assuming that if you're not comfortable with the honeycomb shelf you can just put the hardcover one on which you can kind of feel the little weight weight to it but still like the way it is now it doesn't feel heavier or lighter like they almost feel the same but this one definitely like just from putting my palm on it already feels per palm right especially for my small hands it already feels comfortable and the clicks 100 feel way better I, I don't know what it is i guess the optical switches on this like i feel like my razor has already been damaged for some reason like this click it's like it feels like it gets stuck this one feels okay but i still don't like the way they feel or sound and i don't know i feel like this gets stuck for some reason I don't know if it, and i have one of the first batches so maybe that's the problem i think they fixed it in the new ones but i'm not gonna get another one right until they make the mini hopefully it's smaller even if it's lighter i might get it simply because i don't mind this shape it's not the best shape but i, I don't mind it this one on the other hand for first impressions it feels nice on my hands i don't know how easy it is to like disconnect stuff from it like to take the shell the shell uh oh okay it's not that hard it just comes right off so if you're like a fingertip which i cannot fingertip this well actually this does not even feel bad if palming it i don't know if that is that kind of weird palming it how it is like this <laughs> without the shelf it feel it doesn't feel like anything because it still feels like i, I don't know something about it just it's my hand is still resting perfectly so that definitely feels a lot different that's kind of surprising because it doesn't weigh that much doesn't feel like it at least but definitely feels different i can palm this i know people said this is kind of like you take it off if you're a fingertip user but honestly like the something about it like i can naturally palm it even though like nothing's really resting on it but like my fingers right here kind of rest on top of here and it doesn't feel bad i don't know how we'll feel after a long period of time but yeah i'm not gonna play like that and you know unless weight matters that much i need a scale or something but it's definitely an ergonomic shape it's like very pronounced you can literally tell i don't know if it's because it's white and the g703 is black that you can't really notice the ergonomic shape on this you can just tell it has a fat hump like a very high hump but man the clicks feel nice so 
these buttons i really love i I'm, all, I'm a big fan of big buttons on the sides like these are still obviously bigger but these are actually pretty big compared to like all the other mouses that i have like look how tiny these the razor ultimate is compared to the custom like look how wide they are how fat like i really like that main reason why i love zowie my mice is because a lot of their buttons are like literally like this or bigger which is another reason why i love the g703 but yeah the clicks don't feel as good they have like a gloss texture to them you can even see well i don't know if you can tell on the camera but it's kind of like shiny and you can see the reflection this is kind of like a matte finish the rest but even the dp oh the dpi is like a rubber that doesn't feel bad i love the way the scroll wheel feels it's like rubber and plastic feeling it's definitely tactile but i don't know <clears throat> it's definitely harder to tell like each scroll compared to the razor viper i don't know they almost feel the same but they're both both of these are better than the g pro i don't know about the super light but they're both better than the g pro like so it's not bad i like I actually like this rubber d i think it's a dpi i like this rubber dpi clip feels nice so at the bottom i don't like small mouse feet i'm going to be replacing them with the lexips i'm not going to take them off i'm just going to put them on the sides i lost my other two also only have four lexip feet but i'm going to be putting them each corner I'm not, i don't usually take off the mouse the mouse feet but i do wish it had like the whole front and the whole back cover as a mouse feet i personally like bigger feet i don't like these tiny ones that's just me but overall it looks nice it wasn't that hard to take off the back let's see the side i don't want to I'm kind of afraid. Well, you can only take off the back, I think, right? Or you can take off everything. I don't. I don't want to mess with it, right? I'm kind of afraid. From what I can tell, I think you can only take off. I don't know why would you only. Well, they only sell the top shelves and then these. So I'm assuming that's all you can take off. So if you want to color match, I actually like this. So I'm gonna leave it on because I'm not even gonna change it. I want to use white. See how the RGB looks when I connect it. I don't know how much battery is actually going to come with. I'm probably going to have to charge it before I use it. But overall, it looks clean. It's not an off-white. It's just a white. It's not an... I might take off the autofocus on my camera because it's bothering me. Um. Yeah, it's not an off-white. It's like a literally just white. So, I think it looks nice. Feels nice. I don't mind the gloss it makes you feel the buttons a little bit better i do love the rubber i don't know why I like this cushion rubber it does provide you with more i guess if you want it higher or lower so i'll probably be changing that later and seeing which i like better the squirrel wheel is okay i like how it looks i'm i want to have the rgb on because i think this has rgb on this like the back and stuff maybe the sides i don't know the reason I don't have RGB like on the Razer or the G Pro is because you only see the logos and your whole hand covers the logo, right? I, I don't know. We'll see. But let me like you also have this one, which makes it a little bit heavier. I, I don't mind how this feels. so I don't think I'm going to use this, especially if this just makes it lighter. I might once I get used to the mouse and see if it's good. I'll probably try it without the top shelf and just try to palm it and see how it feels. I have small hands, so every hand's going to be different. But yeah, here's the black version that you get with it as well. If you want to, you know, use the black instead. I don't wonder if you get a hard surface for it. Yeah, you also get provided that as well. So in total, you get three. You get the white smooth, the black smooth, and the black honeycomb. So that's really nice. Now when it comes to opening up the other one you also get provided another dpi the pink i might change the dpi ones to this pink just so the mouse can stand out a little bit more but i hope i think it's the same material it's like rubber i, I like the feel personally it might feel cheap but like i don't know that it feels better than plastic to me personally 
So uh, I like how that feels. So here you have the front clicks, mouse one and two, which is a nice soft pink, which is what I wanted. I didn't like the neon. So yeah, I don't know if I'll switch it because I want majority of the mouse to be white. If you could change the scroll, well, that'd be kind of nice. Oh, and my dog just came into the room. But yeah, I, I like it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use it. Maybe eventually once I get bored of the color, that's kind of the beauty of these. You, right? you can change it to whatever you want. I'm definitely going to change this one. I hope you can change what this does. And it's not only for DPI. Because I really, I would use it for something else. But then you're provided with the other shelves if you buy different colors. So, yeah, you get the hard, the smooth one, and then a the honeycomb one. And, yeah, pretty accurate on all the colors. You know, light pink. I like it. If I were to change, I wouldn't just change one or the other. If I were to change it pink, I would change, like, everything pink and just the DPI to be white. And then the scroll wheel white, you know, makes it look nice. So yeah, I think these are about seven bucks, seven fifty. So it's definitely worth it if you, unless you have a three D printer already, if you pay thousands, or you know someone who does, probably make your own. You have the, the the specs of how to, like the shape and everything. But overall, first impressions, it looks nice, feels nice in my hand. How well does it work? I don't know. Um, the things that I don't like about it, I wish it had you know, bigger mouse feet. But most mouses these days have like small ones. And that's, I think that's really about it. Like I have to use it in order to give my overall opinion on it. But so far the clicks feel nice. Hopefully they last feeling this way. And the side buttons feel nice too. I personally like this DPI. It feels mushy, but like the rubber, if you're a keycaps or switch type of person, this literally feels nice whenever you click down. It has like a clickiness, but it's kind of like thick at this, like really bassy in a sense. These are really, the side buttons are really like screechy and thin sounding, but they feel nice, like a mechanical blue switch almost sounding, like feel to them. And then these are just super clicky. And the scroll wheel, clicking it in, feels almost like the dpi so yeah overall feels nice going to be putting these mouse feet so i'm not really gonna talk about these i don't know what they're using i don't really use default skates gonna switch them to these and yeah see how i play with it see how it feels for a long period of time using it and i'll get back to you after a month maybe of usage i really want to play with the mouse for a while before I give my overall thoughts on it, see how long the battery lasts and all that. So overall, that's my first impressions. Sorry for the, you know, bad quality, but in the autofocus, I need to get a better camera or a lens. Well, better camera actually doesn't have really good autofocus. So anyways, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. And let me know your thoughts down below and I'll talk to you next time. Be safe. Have a wonderful rest of your night.